Here's our verse for the day. This is Proverbs 11, verses 12 and 13. He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is of a faithful spirit conceals a matter. It's been quite some years now since about 100 and 120 believers converged on Little Rock, Arkansas to do gospel work. And one of the things I suggested at the very beginning was that God had led the Christians there and we were not going to tell them what to do. There were people who were going to do door to door and people who were going to preach in the street corner, people who were going to have kids clubs in the park, people who were going to be in a prayer room people who are going to go out and visit in, in the, the stores uh, to share the gospel. All sorts of options available. If you wanted to go along with someone and learn how to do it, you were welcome to do that. But if, on the other hand, you had something else in mind, some other way of spreading the gospel, please feel free to do it. Well, there were two dear believers there, and they were a little uneasy about knocking on doors and talking to people, sort of cold calling. And so they felt maybe the Lord would lead them in other directions. We'll pick some random names for them, say uh, Craig and Ernie. And the reason for choosing those names uh, is because their names are Craig and Ernie. But for example, one day they went to the zoo and uh, talked to people as they were looking at the animals in the zoo. On another day, they were driving along and they needed gas and they pulled into the gas station and one said to the other, you talk to the folks outside and I'll get the ones inside. And so I think it was Ernie who went inside and he tried to share the gospel with the fellow behind the counter. But the fellow said, you know what, um, I'm really only interested in one thing right now. I almost have enough money to buy the service station down the road. And um, that's all I'm really interested in right now. And then he caught himself and said, but don't tell the boss. If the boss finds out that I'm trying to be competition with him down the road, he'll, he'll fire me. And, and I need this job to get the final bit of money to buy that service station. Just then, the uh, owner walked in the door, began to do something else in the building, so Ernie walked over to him and said, say, I know something you don't know. Well, if he didn't have the ear of the young man, the first time he tried to share the gospel, you can be sure he had the ear of the young man. But he had no intention of sharing this information. A tale bearer reveals secrets, but he who is of a faithful spirit conceals a matter. And Ernie's intention was not to tell about the purchase of the gas station. His intention was to share the glorious gospel. I know something you don't know. My sins are forgiven. Christ is my savior. Heaven is my home. But you can imagine the avid attention the young man paid as Ernie shared the gospel with his boss. Dear Christian, we have a secret. It shouldn't be a secret. Everyone should know. And so may God help us not to be tale bearers, but to be gospel bearers and to share the good news with others. What a glorious truth this is, that God in his grace has given us the secret. And it's our job to spread the good news far and wide with others, and by all means to save some, to use tactics to allow God to give us wisdom to be the most winsome and the most effective in sharing the gospel with people who need to hear our secret.